Hello, my beautiful Gemini. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel, Trying Divine Tarot. I'm trying. I'll be reading for you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. We're going to get right into this. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Angels, give me an overall energy for my beautiful Gemini, please. Overall energy, beautiful Gemini, please. One more. Oh, all right. First card out, we have Cracker. Okay, so this is very festive. The holidays are right around the corner. You could be receiving quite the surprise around the holidays, Gemini. Okay, this is a Cracker. So it's something that like snap, crackles, and pops, okay, to get your attention. So let's read the card. Let's see what's coming in for Gemini. Positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy, and good fortune await. So these are those warm and fuzzy holiday vibes, okay? You could be putting up the tree today, starting putting up your decorations, you know, you're creating that holiday ambiance, all right? And then we have lion. So something needs to be said, and it needs to be said right now, <laughs> Or you're just administering like a lot of courage or something's going to be called on you to be courageous and brave, okay? Something may have happened during the month of August also, or you could be dealing with the Leo. Harness the loyal and protective aura of the lion and charge ahead magnificently. All right, this looks like somebody that's coming in. Okay, they may have had to build up the courage, Gemini, but you might be receiving some sort of message around the holidays, okay? <laughs> and it's going to come as quite the shock and quite the surprise. So let's get into it. Yeah, I'm hearing surprise. I'm hearing plot twist. I'm hearing a little excitement. I'm feeling, if you're feeling you're having a little um, a little string of bad luck, I think that's all about to change. I think you're going to be on top of the wheel in no time. I just feel like maybe you had a little lesson you had to go through, okay? A little life lesson that makes us all the wiser, okay? Why is Cracker and Lion here for my Gemini? We have community. So community represents our town. It represents our family, our, our neighbors, people that we surround ourselves with, people that we know on a first name basis. Okay, so maybe this could be a holiday get together. What's happening at this holiday gift get together for my Gemini? they get together for Gemini and Lion is here so something courageous you could be dealing with a masculine okay we have the thief card so I feel like the truth is going to come out maybe at this family gathering the truth is going to come out even though it says thief you know it's like there was like a truth that was hidden from you, Gemini. Like you had bits and pieces of the story and maybe you've been trying to um, fit everything together, but there was a few missing pieces. And I feel like that's, those few little pieces are gonna be revealed around whatever this get together is, okay? Somebody's gonna have the courage and speak up and speak out. Whether that's you or somebody in your community, okay? <laughs> I feel like maybe at another holiday event or something, there was like harsh words that were exchanged and I feel like somebody might be coming or might be the bigger person and coming in to apologize. And I feel like they're gonna say, I'm sorry, I wish I could take that back. You know, I think maybe they wanna restore or work on the relationship with you, okay? All right, 
something that happened a long time ago, Gemini, okay? All right, more for Gemini. Okay, we have courthouse. So, ooh, you may have had to take a relative to court or something like that over something that was stolen maybe with that thief card. You don't want to, but you know, this court case with the community card here usually comes out when somebody passes and people are fighting over the will and money and stuff like that. So I think you guys or whoever this is wants to come together, wants to apologize, wants to bury the hatchet, okay? I think people want to be a family again and put this kind of stuff, you know, aside. Or maybe just at least put it aside for the holidays, okay? <laughs> All right. Let's get into the tarot. Where are we at on time? Six minutes. Okay. Oh, yes. Here it is. Look at This is your past. Six of Cups represents your past. It represents an old friendship, an old relationship with family. Oh, I could represent past life even, okay, a past life union. But I feel like this is a relationship you had with a family member and you used to have so much fun with them. And something happened where you guys stopped talking and you haven't talked for a while. And the death card here, it could indicate, you know, we are in Scorpio season. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. But like I said with the courthouse here, it could have been um, an argument or disagreements because of somebody's passing, okay? And that's why you guys have stopped communicating. But I feel like there's going to be some communication in the very near future. Somebody needs to get something off their chest in order to resolve something, okay? All right, more for Gemini. Yeah. So either Archangel Gabriel is bringing you, see, this is, <laughs> what do you call this? Um, he's calling in something from your past, okay? This is, <laughs> This is calling something to your attention. Maybe he's, he wants you and this person to mend the fence, okay? He's bringing, he's definitely, I know they say calling, um, God, what do they say with this? Like bringing the, de the dead back to life, okay? So maybe he wants you to bring back this relationship from the past work on it and overcome whatever the issues were that were holding you to away from each other. But a choice needs to be made or a choice has been made or that's the verdict. Okay. Verdict is in. Clarify judgment with courthouse. Okay. We have the nine of cups. So somebody's going to be celebrating a victory. And with all these cups here, and there's only one person, it's like a lot of people were involved in whatever this this legal battle was okay there was many people involved but there's only going to be one winner and there's this guy in the picture and he's holding up the cup but i don't know if the one the win was completely fair or people didn't think it was fair because i mean he's there's all these cups and there's only this guy raising the glass okay so maybe when he won this 
this vic this verdict everybody hated on him and then just totally just didn't he just kept to himself there's something going on with the rat in the ceiling though so something's somebody was keeping an eye on this situation or there's just something about this situation that just wasn't right and this is why nobody's talking to this guy even though he won okay in court Nobody thought it was fair, maybe. This could be you, Gemini. This is... People could have been directing their energy towards you and you're the last man standing, okay, and holding the cup. So, maybe people really didn't like that. Maybe that's the argument in the family. All right. Yeah, with that rat in the ceiling, I'm also feeling like um, hidden motives too, okay? All right, more for Gemini. Yeah, I'm not getting a love reading from this situation. I'm getting more of um, a family conflict, okay? There could have been like four main people involved. My hair, sorry. All right, more for Gemini, please. Yeah, people are keeping secrets, or you are keeping secrets, Gemini. Okay, with the High Priestess card. Yeah. There was maybe a sneaky play that somebody was holding back, but um, even though they were trying to hide it really hardcore, the truth was revealed one way or the, the other. Or something is calling you to re take another look at something. Because this person could have won <laughs> in court but the whole truth was not revealed in the courthouse okay <laughs> could be dealing with a water sign okay why is the high priestess here for Gemini okay we have wounded warrior the Nine of Wands, so. Somebody, yeah, I feel like with this card, I mean, it can go a lot of different ways, but I feel like somebody's trying to bury the truth here, okay? Or somebody went on an attack several times or somebody tried something several times and it didn't work, whether that was an attack on you or taking action. When I hear take action, Sometimes I do feel like I'll see you in court energy, okay? Maybe this is a court issue that has existed in your family anywhere from eight months to eight years. This has been going on, or nine years. What is this, nine of wands? Yeah, eight to nine years. And I feel like somebody's finally surrendering or giving, just saying that's enough. Either you want to keep going on with this torture because you need to prove you're right. Um, or you're just going to be like, that's enough. It, let's just grow up, get over this situation and come together as a family and salvage what we can. Okay. Yeah, this is an argument over an inheritance, I believe, over somebody's passing. Yeah, that Seven of Wands wanted to come out. So a lot of protecting and blocking and hiding and feeling defensive being on the defense, a lot of separation. Okay, here it is, the Ace of Swords. So 
um, civil conversations need to happen to bring this family back together. I, I am definitely feeling a family conflict and I'm definitely feeling it's over money or an inheritance, but I definitely feel like, like this is a family that took each other to court several times, several different people, okay? Um, and now if the verdict is in, let the verdict be, be in and put it past you and move on. It's calling for a time of peace, okay? There needs to be peace amongst your family right now, Gemini, okay? All right, where are we at in time? All right, once this conversation happens, what's gonna happen for the Gemini and their family? Okay, so we have the Three of Swords. Okay, this is over heartbreak, people's feelings getting hurt. Okay, and then with the Four of Swords here, this is healing these hurt feelings, okay? The Four of Swords represents healing, and that's what came out. So now we have one, two, three, four swords. And I know I was saying that. It's time to mend the fences. It's time to come together as a family. It's time to put um, this com family conflict behind you. Yep. Yeah. And celebrate as a family again. Okay, the Four of Wands. From the Four of Swords to the Four of Wands. Once you're able to have a civil conversation with these people again, Gemini... Okay, be the bigger person. The swords, you rule. So you can take charge of the situation. And, you know, it's up to you. Either the sun's going to come out. <laughs> or the storm's rolling back in, okay? But I think you know what to do. The four of wands. We're going to end it here. This is the card of celebration. This is the card of coming out, families coming together under one roof, being happy, um, starting new um, traditions and all that kind of good stuff. So I think this is the energy that's waiting for you, Gemini. And I think you're the catalyst to help your family. And maybe I just needed to... Um, Just let you know to be really, really courageous. You have it in you and you can piece this puzzle back together and make your family the comeback kids and stronger than ever. Okay. All right. I'm going to leave it there for Gemini. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. It lets you know every time I upload a video. All right. Till next time, baby dolls. Ciao.